choose the scenarios below that result in an object speeding up. This is question 14. Okay. It's pretty obvious to us that a velocity time graph that's doing this, velocity is increasing, right? Uh, and I'll say with time. Time gets bigger, velocity gets bigger. We're pretty good with that example. Now let's draw an example with a velocity that's doing something like this. Now at first glance you might say, hey, they both have positive slopes. That's an increasing velocity. But look at what's happening here. You start out with a velocity of something. Let's just make up a number, negative 5 meters per second. And then up here, you've got a velocity of neg maybe negative 1. So what's happening to his velocity? It's getting, the numbers themselves are getting smaller, right? So this is actually slowing down. But he's got a negative velocity the whole way. That's not a speeding up case. So now, what would it take in the negative velocity example to be speeding up, increasing your velocity? Well, you have to go above the y axis. Let's keep it all below the, the x axis. Um, Here was a positive slope, right? And that's wrong. You have to be going down. In yeah, exactly. Direction. So look at what's happening here. You start out with a very small negative velocity, mm -hmm. and you wind up at a very large negative velocity. This is speeding up. What would that confuse me? Going backwards. Yeah, I know it's the only thing that confuses me is because it's going backwards. I know it's like speeding up, but it's going. So this is the guy who's in reverse, and he he stopped. Maybe he starts out here. He stopped, and he floors it. And his car is getting faster, faster, faster. The only thing that makes this velocity negative is because he's going backwards. Use the keyword here, speed. Speed doesn't care if it's negative. Not about direction. Correct. One hint, the way that I notice speeding up is that the uh, velocity line is getting away from the horizontal axis. You're going away from zero.